Over the course of our modern civilization's existence, science has resolved many mysteries and answered an untold number of perplexing questions. Today, possibly more than ever, we have a firmer understanding of the nature and laws of mathematics, physics, biology, astronomy, climatology, and brilliant minds have devised exciting theories about the nature of our world and beyond. However, despite our ever-increasing base of knowledge, there are many phenomena in the natural world that continue to baffle scientists, ranging from mysterious animal rains to fascinating volcanic thunderstorms. Here are five of some of the most mysterious natural phenomena on the planet. Animal Rains In 2015, Norwegian biology teacher Karstein Ørstad skied through the mountains of southern Norway when he came across an extraordinary sight. Thousands of earthworms littering the snow before him. As it turns out, the earthworms were actually alive, but he couldn't figure out where they came from. It seemed like they just fell from the sky. Our planet has witnessed a storied history of mysterious rains of animals. More often than not, those were fish rains, like in Nepal in 1900, or Sri Lanka in 2014. Many of us also remember a situation that freaked us out in the early days of 2012, when birds started falling from the sky. The biggest question here is what causes such a wide variety of animals to just plop out of the sky. As far back as the early 1800s, French physicist and mathematician André-Marie Ampère took a crack at solving this mystery. His hypothesis involved conditions he termed violent air pockets. However, there are problems and holes in his theory. Sometimes, a rain of animals occurs without any sign of stormy weather. And strangely, for whatever reason, they usually involve only a single species of animal and not a mixture. There is also the curious fact that no one has ever actually witnessed this phenomenon. We've seen the results, like the pile of earthworms in Norway, but as far as recorded instances are concerned, we've never seen the wind pick them up. Fairy Circles in Africa The bizarre circular patches of bare land, commonly referred to as fairy circles, in the grasslands of Africa's Namib Desert, have defied any rational explanation for a very long time now. Different hypotheses to explain these unique circles range from ants and termites up to grass-killing gas that seeps out of the soil. Whatever the reason for this mysterious natural phenomenon, Africa's Namib Desert certainly looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. In 2013, University of Hamburg biologist Norbert Jurgens claimed to have evidence for a termite theory of fairy circles. He discovered colonies of the sand termite to nearly always be in the center of these circles. The biologist reasoned that the termites feed on the grass's roots killing the plants, which usually use up the soil's water. In turn, this results in the creation of circular patches of bare land. However, while this unproven theory certainly sounds plausible, it isn't the most widely accepted or predominant theory among scientists who have taken an interest in this bizarre phenomenon. It seems a majority of scientists prefer a slightly older theory that proposes fairy circles are an example of a self-organizing vegetation pattern, which arises from plant interactions. In 2008, researchers developed a mathematical model showing the vegetation patterning of fairy circles could depend on water availability. While the math seems to hold true, reproducing the mathematical formula here in the real world has proven rather difficult to do. Nonetheless, scientists can't agree on a single theory. It seems like we're still far from finding out what causes these mysterious-looking circles. Ball lightning 
Ball lightning has been one of the most mysterious natural phenomenon for centuries, partly because it is so rare and transient, and therefore hard to investigate. For hundreds of years, people across the globe have reported seeing luminous, spherical orbs during storms. According to eyewitness reports, they last for several seconds, moving through the air before eventually exploding. Meteorologists have overwhelmingly regarded such reports with suspicion, as it's seemingly impossible to find an instance when a trained meteorologist has admitted to observing the phenomenon for themselves. Inconsistencies in public reports led those studying these cases to start thinking of them like UFO sightings, merely hallucinations, perhaps caused by electromagnetic effects. A fortuitous observation during field experiments in China has now provided what seems to be the first measurement of the emission spectrum of ball lightning. This is the very first scientific proof we know of that ball lightning even actually exists. The data suggests that the glowing ball is composed of elements from the soil. Based on this, we assume when lightning strikes the ground, it transfers energy in nanoparticles in the soil. The force of the strike ejects those particles into the air, where they're possibly oxidized, and then, for reasons still not quite understood, release that energy as heat and light, glowing briefly. Still, it seems like we might currently understand only a small portion of this elusive natural phenomena. The current theory doesn't explain all the situations where ball lightning has been seen, like on aircraft flying in the sky, or above seas and rivers. Our knowledge of ball lightning is still based mostly on accidental eyewitness reports and unproven hypothesis. Morning Glory Clouds While some describe them as ripples in the atmosphere, to others, its gigantic size makes it the most spectacular thing you can see in the sky. This is one of the world's rarest and most unique meteorological phenomena that is happening in Australia. We're talking about morning glory clouds that are observed in northern Australia's Gulf of Carpentaria. A morning glory cloud is a roll cloud that can be up to 650 miles long and can move at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. Scientifically speaking, this kind of cloud is often accompanied by sudden wind squalls, intense, low-level wind shear, a rapid increase in the vertical displacement of air particles, and a sharp pressure jump at the surface. All of these conditions create something extraordinary looking. However, despite being studied extensively, the morning glory cloud is not clearly understood. Sometimes, this can be a single roll cloud, while at other times, there can be up to 10 clouds in a row. Between September and November, there are usually a handful of these observed near the Gulf of Carpentaria. Generically, this is called roll cloud and can happen in other places around the world. There have been sightings in Middle America, Canada, Russia, Germany, and Brazil but this part of Australia seems to be the only place where these clouds happen with any regular frequency. Local Aboriginal people believe that this cloud's arrival is a good omen that bird numbers will soon boom. And just like women all over the world waking up next to morning glory can attest, with these systems, it's sometimes best to jump in there and enjoy the wonder of nature. But other times, it's best to head for the hills. Dirty thunderstorms. After 42 years of silence, the Calbuco volcano in Chile has again roared back to life. All of a sudden, the volcano has started spewing untold tons of ash and magmatic material as high as 33,000 feet into the atmosphere. Chile's emergency and geological agencies declared a wide exclusion zone around the volcano and more than 4,000 people have been evacuated. But just as with other heavily photographed volcanoes, maybe even more stunning than the towering plume of the volcano's contents, is the lightning that seems to come from inside the ash. Now, 
you must be wondering what brings lightning to a volcanic eruption. Over the last century, well over a hundred different eruptions around the world have had recorded lightning in their ash clouds. Arguably, one of the most interesting natural phenomena, these are often referred to as dirty thunderstorms. Scientists are still researching the real cause of this phenomenon. Under normal circumstances, lightning is created during thunderstorms when ice particles collide with each other to generate charge. In the case of dirty thunderstorms, the volcanic eruption itself is unable to produce lightning. But if the ash, rock fragments, and ice spewed out of the volcano collide with each other, this might generate a static charge. In addition, volcanic eruptions release a surprising amount of water, which may help fuel these dirty thunderstorms. But due to dangerous and unpredictable exploratory conditions, less than natural or ideal laboratory conditions, and the reluctance of scientists to die in an active volcano, and investors to lose their investment in spewing lava and ash, it is difficult to provide a conclusive explanation of this phenomenon. What is your opinion about these mysterious natural phenomena? Please feel free to share interesting stories about unusual phenomena from your countries. If you find it interesting, or if you find it mysterious, share and like this video. Also, be sure to subscribe, because you don't want to miss what's coming next. As always, thank you for watching.